Hi, and welcome back to Moon Glow Plays and Star Stable Update Time. Okay, so this is what a lot of us have been waiting for, and I am a fan of the thoroughbred. I used to, I used my, um, uh, <clears throat> my current thoroughbred as my champ horse. So I've been looking forward to getting the new ones. Well, I am definitely going to get it because I'm getting it mostly to do champs with and, and to use for other things. I'm not a fan of white horses. So let's start uh, viewing them. I love <clears throat> the little white on the back feet like that. I think that looks really pretty. And the little snip on the nose. I don't love that they don't seem to have a whole lot of shading. But it's especially noticeable on the black one. I love the snip on the nose. I wish your eyes were a little bit more realistic looking. I think that's the thing that bothers me. Is, I don't know. The eyes still have that cartoony look. And some of the horses they've done have come out with a really nice job on the faces. <clears throat> they do look a lot like some of the other horses. But it's easier to see what they've done with the white one. You could see the, um, the, sh the shading on the face to make the... You know, the veins on their, their noses and stuff like that. Which is, to me, one of the things about a thoroughbred that, you know, makes them look like a thoroughbred. <laughs> is their face. And the shadowing, you can see the shading on the legs. <clears throat> yeah, look at right through here. I don't know. I think I just maybe expected to see a little bit more muscle shading type stuff in there, being as how they are thoroughbreds and they do race. That they would be more, I don't know, muscle showing. But I do like them. Now, the two colors I like the best came out today, so... I'm going to go check the one at, I was kind of hoping they'd both be in the same spot, but they're not. So let's go check at Fort Pinta, where the other one is, and see how we like them. I'm leaning towards the black one, um, but I'm very interested in the dark brown one also. Um, I'm actually going to get to finally see if it's actually a bay or a brown. And here we are. Let's check this one out. This is the other one I really liked. Look how pretty that is. It's almost like a bay. Except it's got the white. It's almost like a dark bay with socks. Because it looks like the mane and the tail are black. Along with part of the leg. And then it goes into the white feet. Trying to really tell if that's got black or it does. It looks like it's a dark bay with white socks, which I really like. That there's no white on the face. I like this one. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. I honestly thought I was going to be getting the black one. But this is really pretty. Oh, let's look at the, th the information on these horses. Uh, strength 1, Discipline 2, Agility 3. Um, <clears throat> they're 850 star coins. These are all level 1. They, anybody can get them as long as you can get to the area where these are. Uh, they did say that every anybody can get them. The only th thing would be is if you're not a star rider and you can't get to Marley's, then you obviously aren't going to be able to get that one. You'd only be able to get this one. Um, I normally don't buy the ones in Fort Pinta because they become um, overbought 
due to this being the only place that the um, non-star riders can buy them but I really like this one so I think I'm gonna go for it okay so what I was doing was I was looking for a name that would sound like a, a racehorse's name you would see at a racetrack so I come up with fortune flyers so that's gonna be his name I don't know what I'm gonna call him yet but that's his name registered name of my racehorse step one get rid of these fake horseshoes okay now I do have some saddle pads in here let's put that one look at that I just happen to have some tack in my bag here the only thing we're missing is a bridle so let's go get that okay now let's check the gates out and see what we think of them and see if they look like they did in the videos here's the walking trot And a little rear shot because that's what we all see when we're riding. <laughs> I like the way this thing throws the dirt up at the screen. <laughs> Yeah, backing up. I almost forgot. I knew there was one I was missing. There's the backup. <coughs> so, uh, that's really about it. We have our new um, video of the week, which I will post the link to in the description below. And uh, really, that's the only thing we have today. We do have races that are coming out. They're on the board, but I don't think they've come out yet. Right here, see these, working equitation. There's still nothing here. I don't know where these are going to be. But they're obviously coming out with something. So that's something to look forward to. Um, getting some new races. So we'll have to see what happens and when they pull that one out. Um, but that's about it. Next week's um, update is a little confusing. Because all they tell us, and they're very vague, is, hmm, what's going on in Veildale? Seems like Farah is trying to turn some fun ideas into reality. And Farah is that one who has the soul riding outfits that's uh, right near Elizabeth's house. So I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely, that'll be the place to be next week. So until then, I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.